Good morning everyone, <laughs> it's Carpo here. I figured I'd just film the cover of a book instead of uh, my ugly mug. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to say to everybody that uh, you all mean a lot to me. I know that sounds cheesy, but um, everyone means a lot to me. I've learned so much from each person in this world. And, uh, y you know, when I was when I was younger, I was like 16, 17, I was pretty arrogant like most teenagers. And I had this assumption that I had this deeper insight into life and that society was ignorant and uh, most people were just dumb. I really believed that I was part of a small group of people who had brains that were able to grasp concepts <laughs> that were beyond me and that transcended this world and the universe, if you will. But I realized in time that that, uh, that youthful arrogance is a protective measure that we have when we're young to keep us going. If we were to be helpless in our youth and to think that we don't have any answers, it can really complicate things and hold us back. So I think that we have this built-in arrogance and um, we utilize that when we're young in order to further ourselves until we get to the point where we can actually start thinking. And I think that this is something that's been instilled over years of, uh, <laughs> sorry, millennia, you know, of... Um, various uh, genetic changes and emotional changes and changes in the collective. I truly believe that we are all one person and that each person, uh, your neighbor, your family, your friends, each person needs to be treated with equal respect. Although I make failures at times like everyone else and snap back at people, I'm not going to get trampled on. However, I am completely content of where I am right now. I, 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 and to a lot of people, it may seem that I'm seeking because of the videos I put out, but um, it's almost like I feel more like I'm sharing, like sharing with other people my discoveries along my path and hoping to hear some of yours. And that's, that's the beauty of it. I've uh, really started to see things from... Um, this perspective of the forest for the trees. Actually, Alchemy was re referred me to John Lilly, which I found inter interesting. I was just watching a Lilly video a while ago, and he was talking about uh, levels of Satori, uh, and uh, I thought it was really interesting because it, it made me think about how he mentioned something to the effect of when something really amazing happens, often people don't notice it because they're not in the right frame of mind or because they haven't developed themselves to the point where they can see. I like to say you can't see the forest for the trees. You know, that old saying is so true. When you're in the forest, it's really hard to see the trees. It's really hard to see the forest. It's easy to see the trees, but uh, you can never see the whole picture. There's always something in your way. If you can rise above that forest, then you can see it for its whole. And over periods of time, over years and years of practice and, and understanding and learning about people, um, we can really start to see that forest for what it is. And then when these little things happen to us, say synchronicities, coincidences, if you will, um, we can say, hey, that's not a coincidence after all. The more you notice, the more it happens. I think overall, the most important part for a human to become uh, to, to become, well, superhuman, I guess, to your highest level is to be able to not judge and to embrace each person for who they are because my belief is this. Each person on this earth, however arrogant, however ignorant they may seem, they've all gone through the same stages that we go through. Maybe at a different point in time in their life, maybe under a different circumstance, under different law, under a different leader, under a different God, but they're all still people. And they're all still instilled with 99.9% .9 of the same information that we all have. 
So when we look at someone and say, you are this and I am this, it's really shallow. It's very, very surface, very surface, because that person could change their mind and all of a sudden be your best friend. But if they don't change their mind about what they believe or what they think, then one might dismiss them because, well, it conflicts with what they believe. My understanding of this is that each person has something large to contribute, <clears throat> no matter how ignorant a person's uh, belief system may be. I always think deeply about it, because a person doesn't just develop a belief system out of thin air, unless it's given to them by, say, a church or an established religion. But if a person has a belief system that is, uh, say, encompasses a wide array of different ideas, I listen close because I know that those ideas are based on experience. My my main drive is to figure out what those experiences are and how those experiences mold who we are. Um, through all the seeking, I mean, I could stop today and be happy. I'm There's nothing I'm really looking for in life. I'm, I'm not seeking any answers anymore other than to just try to perfect what I already believe I know, which is that, uh, <laughs> well, that everything is Zen, right? There's no definition, there's no way to, you know, define the undefinable, so let's not try, right? Um, I'm not going to try to, you know, belittle other people, and I hope they wouldn't belittle me, but in the long run, I think that we all have the same goals in life, to be happy and to better our society. So, if we can rise up above the forest and really see it for what it is, who knows? Who knows? Something might change here, and uh, I think that that's, that's really a major driving force for society is the hope for change. And, and I see how it bleeds out into uh, conspiracies and obsessions and compulsions and uh, uh, celebrities. Um, a lot of times when we're when we're discontent with our own lives or the way things are going, we abandon our own principles and grasp onto something else because it seems more solid or we have more support. Um, it'd be really hard for a uh, you know, uh, say a Buddhist to go to a Christian town and, and live there without uh, having anyone to practice with or to reinforce his beliefs, and in time he may become a Christian. Who knows? It's possible. It happens to a lot of people. Uh, the, that's not just tied to any particular religion, or it's just a belief system. It's, it's who we are around, the people we surround ourselves with, who make us who we are. And... Um, it's funny to look at how these things really affect people. I, I think it's a, I think it's an amazing life. And thank you all for sharing your time. Peace.